So I was talking to Malcolm last week, and Malcolm has a friend named Jim in Asheville that is a, a, a minister in a local prison, uh, and he's been ministering to a guy that uh, went to prison for life for a crime he committed at 16. Of course, the crime was murder. And uh, this has been changed, uh, you know, to, you know, life with the possibility of parole. And I think he comes up for parole in a few years. But in the interim, he's been writing screenplays. And uh, they asked me to help. And they sent me a screenplay that this guy did about a uh, person on death row. And... Uh, it's interesting to read it, uh, it's very real and it's, it's relevant, it's important, but mostly he just needs, you know, somebody to value what he's trying to do. Thank you! Now I'll do a singing one. I 
Good for you. Yeah. Hey, who more you? Uh, Harold Vaughn was my daddy. He oh. passed away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He used to live on the river on the other side of that cemetery. Yeah. You know that big house, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I washed cows down there. Yeah, when I was a boy. Yeah. Yeah. Then we moved to Common County. Then we moved back over here. I was raised over here by the tire load. That, yeah. My great grandpa owned Black Holler at one yeah. time. And then when my dad was 11 years old, my grandpa moved to Clark Range and Pedal Watkins goods to the miners and stuff yeah, up yeah, here. Yeah. No, I'll get that wood up yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me add that enough on the floor. I can get the rest of it. Yeah. Man, gonna need fire cold as it can uh, I tell you something about up here. This porch right here, you come up Ooh. all summer. And sit on this porch and it's cold. Yeah. It's I nice. worked everywhere. Ooh. In the mines and everywhere. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them about working when you were 12 years old. I did. I was on the farm in Conway County. On the farm, buddy. Yeah. So, hey. Most all you got is something to eat and what you could drink. To start with, then they started giving me so much water. Yeah. Quiet. Oh, my Lord, where's him heal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had a hard on my life. Yeah, my daddy had his back broke when he was a young man. He got a and I had to roll him a cigarette. Yeah. That's how come me to get started. Smoking. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't able to do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We're going down the mountain. Well, buddy, I'm thinking. Try and behave yourself today. I'm going to do it. I've had this discussion with different people over the years. Uh, it is something I've experienced. Uh, there are plenty of people, plenty of people, that don't think profiling happens. That uh, they don't think that that uh, a police officer will look at somebody and, based on their appearance, figure out some reason to pull them over and check them out. But. Uh, I know for a fact it does happen. Uh, I think it happens more to minorities than to people of the Caucasian persuasion. But I've had it happen to me as much as three times in one weekend. I had it happen to me two times 
driving into an art show in Mount Dora, Florida at 6 o'clock in the morning. And there was people all around me driving in. And you want to know what I was doing? I had my art display on the roof of the bus. I had a Volkswagen bus, split window. I had my uh, information on the on the front there, just where I always keep it, just so I can whip it out on them. And, uh, you know, it's degrading. It's, it's demeaning. It's demoralizing. I had small children with me. I'm just another person trying to earn a living. And uh, I was treated like a criminal. So, uh, Profiling does exist, and it's something that uh, is a part of what's going on now. If you've never been profiled, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I mean, it just means you've never been profiled. Everybody realized that uh, their experience is not necessarily a shared experience, and that uh, possibly if we quit judging people based on appearance, we'll and having results based on that judgment. Thank you.
have one drink with you and then I'll leave well, you the rest. Uh, hey, uh, uh, somebody says you're fired. Really? Yeah, old boy doing paper on the job, him and another boy. Where was he working? Yeah, uh, at Mon Ranch in San Plan. At the same, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was, yeah. Wasn't he? yeah. Well, you surprised? Shit, no, no. I don't know what they're going to do, though, with no juice or nothing. No. They ain't got no juice, they ain't got no soul, they ain't got nothing. I'm coming up Thursday, I'll bring them some food. And no water. Really? Yeah. Is I'm on bring is him, Is he living there with Steve? Yeah, yeah. 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 You pull that out. I'm going to leave this corkscrew for you, so Hell when I come back, yeah. you'll have one. Hell yeah. Well, this is muscadine wine. Well, you like muscadine wine? I guess I do. I don't know. I'm yeah. glad you're not in jail. Hell yeah. But I've got to go back, but I will get me. Yeah, move a little closer while I'm here. Carol, Carol knows why i got to go back. Yeah. I just talked to the judge. That's all I talked to. Well, this light come on? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's no so fan. That's better. So what did he tell you? He just told me, uh... What did they charge you with? They didn't charge me with nothing yet. Hmm. They, uh, they pointed me a damn lawyer and told me to come back. A cow knows when they told me to come back. And who's your judge? I don't know who he is. You gonna be all right? Yeah, I'm thinking, buddy. I'll be back Thursday, two days. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll be here. Well, you better be. Oh, yeah. I don't know what else to do if you're not. Hey, well, Judy Bowles and him down there today. Uh, tomorrow. Oh, oh. I believe she told someone they had to go today. They're coming down to, folk to go through all the clothes that we're going to give out. I'm going to sit up here while I was going to let you Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. to watch your shit. I know it. Yeah. Yeah. This old world may never change All the way it's been And all the ways of war Can't change it back again And I'm searching Sometimes I wonder Do you ever think of me? I know I'm not the one to tell this world will come Lord when all hate is gone I'm searching for the dolphin in the sea Sometimes Do 
Do you ever, do you ever think of me? I 
giant and we just want to thank them for helping uh, finance our outreach and sending all the nice paper towels that we're going to start giving out today on the mountain and uh, we want to tell them how much we appreciate them for helping on a grassroots level uh, I don't know how much help I could do or be selling brawny paper towels but they sure have been a great help to us and we look forward to using uh, uh, the money that they've sent us to, you know, be part of the solution on the mountain. So, once again, thank you, Bronnie. Thank you. So, you're going to take one to Rambo, yep. one to Paula, uh -huh. with the little boy with the heart surgeries, yep. one to Curly, yep. and one to Uma. Who is Uma? Uma's in hanging limb. You haven't taken anything to her before? No. Take it to Jeremy. <laughs> Went to a party with my sister Kate. Everybody says she danced so great. I realized a thing or two. Well, old Kate was into something new I looked at her and she was in a trance I realized that it was in the dance Everybody's going wild About my sister Kate's dancing style Wish I could shimmy like my, my sister Kate just like jelly on the plate My mama wanted to know last night Why all the boys are treating Kate so right Everybody, everybody in my neighborhood They know Kate got it and it's, it's mighty good oh, I, I may be late but I'll be up today when I can me like my sister Kate. Thank you. 
the uh, at the reunion the other day, I wanted to talk about uh, about how far back that you remembered as far as you know the history of living in this area and, and being all a child because you've lived here all your life, right? Yeah, here at other Santa Cruz, uh, Randall Store. So within ten miles or five miles. Yeah. And what year were you born? Thirty-five. And what what's your earliest memory of, of living on the mountain? My earliest memory? Well, I helped my daddy. And uh, we had a view. Mm -hmm. And we had and I found that view and turned the ground. For gardens. For gardens and fields. Of corn then. I helped my daddy do anything he had to do. Cut bee trees. We cut bee trees. I go in there and help him put a bit of gum. And was it was it a happy life? Yeah. It was a good old days. What was a normal day like if you went through the whole day when you starting when you wake up? Feeding. We fed the uh, the stock, I did, let them eat, the mule, and then uh, Baba had a milk cow. She milked it, and, well, I was always out doing something, busting wood or doing something all the time. Feedy, my sister, and uh, me, and Marthy and Trig, and uh, we, we had a pretty good family we had to cook for. That was like six children, right? Yeah. That's crazy. I, I tell you, when one of the things that got me started on this <coughs> was walking around Honey Springs Cemetery and seeing all the little children. Yeah. All the stillborn babies and all the children under four years old that are in the cemetery here and at Wilder and, and all of them really in the Walker Cemetery above me near Tinchtown. Well, well, do you have any memory of that, of, of, of people losing a lot of children? Yeah. I was pretty happy. He had, well, he, uh, yeah, they died when they were little. They were just babies. Uh, so we, he, they, they're buried down at the cells, I mean, uh, at the Central Place, in that cemetery. Have you been down under that cemetery? Mm -hmm. No, I need to go. And those were your siblings? That was your, they, they had, your mama had three that didn't live? No, uh, I was pretty half, had two. And they died when they was little, and he carried them on his back and took a better, and they buried them. They didn't have uh, no, uh, they wouldn't have such a thing as we, you know, of a, of a, you know, a funeral home or nothing like that. They just dress them and bury them. And it was, was it like somewhat normal that little children would die when they were young? Yeah. Do you remember what it was that was so hard on them? No, that died when they were So I don't know. Were there, were there doctors? Uh, Did you have doctors? 
you. We have had whatever every once in a while. Uh, I never even went to a doctor. Mommy always made her own uh, for us. She uh, put, uh, she would make a her, uh, outbreak and fix her chest out of Nick Save and suffer and if and, and if we got really sick, well, that's all the time. Doc Collins was, he got to leak up to the house and he was our da doctor and but we had to have everything set up. For. We just have to, you know, do. One of the things that, that we like to point out, one of the things we're working on is that uh, uh, you have the option of doing exactly what we've done wherever you are. Um, you know, it, it isn't all that tough to get started, find you a little venue, find you a couple of pickers that want to play. Um, don't charge an admission, charge a, a you know, some soup or some canned tuna or canned salmon. Our people really love canned salmon. Some dried pinto beans, you know, complex carbohydrates, quality proteins. And then uh, find a marginalized person <clears throat> that needs them and uh, give them to them and ask that person and they will know where the other people are that need a little help. And if indeed this is something you want to do, once again, we'll help you. Uh, com. send us a message uh, we'll we'll talk to you on the phone or we'll text you or write you we'll take a step by step thing we're, we are making an effort to put up a page that explains it step by step and uh, this would work anywhere and people could be helped anywhere and uh, I think it's a really good idea to start our own Guitar boy, don't shoot for the stars now. Cause it ain't worth the trouble when your guitar is a shovel that digs your grave. Well, you wanna play every night, it's just to follow your dream. And play that blues music, you wanna hear the people scream. They stick it through the back Sometimes your bossy might rip you off Make you play real late So you can't hold down no jobs So don't play guitar, boy Don't you vote the stars, boy Cause that guitar that you play It just might wind up the speed That digs your grave Well, you might have heard about Robert Johnson. He's a blues man. Used to carry that guitar around. But if you never played that music, it could have still been around. And take your man, Jimi Hendrix. He was sure he played real hard. But he'll never know just how famous he got. So don't play guitar, boy. Don't you vote the stars, boy. Cause that guitar that you play It just might wind up the spade that digs your grave Well, 
I said, man, I love this music like nothing I know. Kiss in my system and the flows of my bones. I could spend my life just a paying off some bank. Never work a nine to five. I'm gonna tell you no thanks. I'm playing guitar, man. Shoot for the stars, man. Yeah. And the tool that I use is gonna play these blues until I die. Let her use is gonna play these blues until I die. To let I use is gonna play these blues until I die. It's a song about a train. It's a song from Memphis too. I changed it a little bit. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
this is a, a message, a text message I got. I get a lot of them, several a week. Hello, it's, uh, and it says her name again. I was going to thank you again for helping me out with my electric bill. I have another favor to ask. My mom broke her arm last week. She works at Purdue, but she's off now for a while, and her water bill is behind, and she's not got any way of paying it. She's trying to get her short-term disability papers filled out, but they said it would take up to four weeks before she'll get a check. Could you please help her? She's worrying herself sick about her bills and in a lot of pain on top of that. She gets water through East Four Quarter. She pays her bill at Bonnie's store. I know that place. Actually, she pays her bill right next to Bonnie's store. Her name is, uh, and it says her name and her address, and, uh, and it says uh, uh, they could come and shut it off any time. Thank you, and may God bless you. I can't remember how it was before you came. Our only boy is gone, he hears her saying. He hasn't worked the farm at all since then. Girls have gone to school, have gotten married. All their children are like dandelions scattered by the wind. Evening falls on me. Is that the baby? That's the baby. How old is he? He'll be two in March. He's a big boy. Yeah. But it's so hard to find clothes that will fit him. I got clothes. Did I'll bring them. I got them. Because he's bigger than a two. No. No? 18 months. That's what he's wearing? Yeah. All right. Didn't, did, did Judy bring some stuff? Yes, she did, and they're all too big. All too big? Yes. She bought him some toys to play with, and he loves them. I'll bring them some more And he got some toys. toys for Christmas. How did you end up with him? My granddaughter, uh, great -grand my granddaughter had to go in the hospital. Muckus and then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she had a, a reaction to some pot that she had smoked. Yeah. It made her schizophrenic. Yeah. They put her in the hospital. But she's doing better. She's home now. So you 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 have him temporarily. Yes. yes until she get back on her feet. Yeah. yeah. I bet you are getting diapers by the big box. Yes. They didn't invite you last time. There's some dog food in the back if y'all y'all use some dog food. Save some money. We just picked up a big bag. It's all right. Grab her a big bag of dog food. Big bag of dog food? Big bag of dog food. Thank you. Don't you think, Magazine? Yes, that'll help out a whole lot. I've got two cats now. I hadn't had cats in years. Cats are different than dogs. Yes, they're so independent. Hush, Tucker. <laughs> How's the stove working? It is good. November. I can't remember how it was before you came. Some of my favorite songs in the world.
If you're traveling to the North Country Fair, the winds hit heavy on the borderline. Remember me to the one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. And if you're going where the snowflakes fall. Winters freeze and the summer's end. See for me, she has a coat so warm to keep her from the howling wind. See for me, for hair hangs long, for rolls and clothes, all down her breast. See for me, if her hair hangs long, cause that's the way I remember her best. me at all so many times I've often prayed in the darkness of my nights in the brightness of my days traveling to the North Country Fair, where the winds hit heavy, heavy on the borderline. Remember me to the one who lives there, cause she once was mine Yes, she was She once was a true love of mine Yes, she
things change Cause nothing remains the same Everyone must change No, no, nothing stays the same You're young, becoming old Mysteries do unfold That's the way of time No, no, nothing stays the same There's so, so little in your life That you can't be sure of Except the rain comes from the clouds Sunshine from the sky And hummingbirds to fly You're young, becoming old Mysteries do unfold So we have time No, no, nothing stays the same Now there is so, so little in your life That you can't be sure of comes from the clouds and the sun shine from the sky and the hummingbirds to fly everything is changed everything will stop